Ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, the end of the year. So as is tradition, let's do a quick little recap of the year and a little preview of what you can ex expect next year. Now, as always, I tried to do a quick TLDR for those of you who don't want to stick around for the entire thing. So uh, what you can expect next year uh, is up in the air. <laughs> Now, I do have some plans for different variations of game dev videos. Hopefully that'll happen next year, but a lot of it will be up to, up to I guess, but let's just call it luck in 2024. Now I'm going to get to more details and we've actually got a lot to cover. So if, if you're interested to stick around, but first let's recap 2023 real quick. Actually, I just remembered before I go any further, I apologize if the audio for this sounds different or weird. Uh, it's extremely hot as I'm recording this in this room and uh, I have a fan pointed at me to hopefully uh, <laughs> keep me cool. But yes, let's talk about 2023 real quick. Honestly, I think 2023 was sort of a roller coaster, but at the same time, pretty consistent in terms of content, at least. And somewhat surprisingly, we are capping off the year in a pretty impressive manner. Like, honestly, I'm surprised to see that the Lethal Demic video did so well, but it's a no, no surprise considering just how big Lethal Company has become since then. And again, I had actually been sitting on that video for like a week before I actually started editing it. I did not at the time of seeing it expect Lethal Company to blow up as it ha has now, you know? So it's pretty crazy to see uh, it suddenly spike in traffic because, you know, obviously people want to see Lethal Company content and I guess my stuff is showing up. So that's great. Another weird one was the CAD video that was unfinished and I, I, I do plan to get back to it, but it was obvious. A lot of things happened in the end of the year where I was like, I want to make a video on this. Let's so let's release that and let's push everything back. So <laughs> the follow up to the CAD video is coming, but it'll be happening in January, most likely. Another positive, I was very, very relieved and very happy, but mostly relieved that people enjoyed the switch in the editing this year. I'm glad that there was no uh, huge negative reaction to that, and uh, I plan to keep doing it and hopefully improve it in the future. Although I will say that it's sort of bittersweet because the editing for that has increased tenfold and it, it is very, very taxing on my system system now but it's fine you know the pain is fine because people enjoy it so that's what matters most so i'll continue doing it now speaking of taxing terrible segue but still you know not everything was peachy rosy is, is that even a term not everything was great uh there were some again you know it was a roller coaster so there were ups there were downs some downs were that i did uh, in fact have to reduce my workload a bit due to some feelings of burnout earlier in the year but upon further reflection of that it wasn't it's not even burnout from the channel it's more like a burnout from real life that just bled into the channel you know so that was very much a time where i needed a bit of a reset and honestly in in hindsight it it wasn't too bad anyway because i got to remake a game that i've been wanting to remake for a while and that was obviously summer squirts but yeah so it, it was fine it, it turned out to not be a disaster but i will say that as as high as the highs may have been this year there has still been some very notable noticeable excuse me noticeable lows and the, and the biggest blemish i think of 2023 for me has been uh, the patreon now i'm not gonna make any excuses but i feel like i should explain what happened there so in 2022 i had to again take time away from the channel and reduce my 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 focus on it because I'm trying to choose my words very carefully here because I don't want to accidentally like say too much and maybe dox myself. I don't know. So I had so in 2022 I had to reduce my workload due to some real life commitments and the perks, I guess I'll say, of said commitments. And those perks were supposed to mean that I would have more time and opportunity to work on the channel in 2023. And unfortunately, those perks were very much embellished and and running the Patreon kind of hinged on having that time and opportunity that I unfortunately did not get. So, you know, a lot of things that I wanted to do in 2023 ended up not happening or I had to cut back on them, like the return of Let's Dev, which ended up being way too much for the time that I did have. And it's honestly just a sour grape, I don't know, that I've had to swallow and deal with, that I've been trying very hard to come back from. 
And honestly, I think this is a good transition into what you can expect in 2024. Now, the goal in January is hopefully that I will be condensing the Patreon tiers to one or two, maybe three, probably two. I haven't decided yet. It's, it's been so busy, especially this holiday. It has been extremely busy, so I apologize. But yes, so the Patreon tiers will be condensing. And this is really just going to be if you want to see the basic content, basic content. If you want to get the early access and the games you can get the early access and the games that'll pr probably be the only two uh, tiers now in terms of what you can expect from the content another thing that stopped me from posting regular content on the patreon is i got way too obsessed with posting quality content you know i would start on something and I, and halfway through i would be like this is not good enough for posting let's just not do it now again time is very limited so i can't promise an abundance of content but i will be posting smaller uh, progress updates like for example i'm slowly learning how to do low poly modeling and i guess maybe that wouldn't be be a, a, a cool thing to document on the patreon like oh here's this weird low poly thing that i'm learning to build and the texturing and the, the you know everything that comes with that and then maybe some other experimental things that maybe don't resonate as a full uh, dev diary topic. Again, I have a lot of ideas. It's just a matter of figuring out the best ones to, to, to put out there. So there might be a lot of experimental topics coming, but that is the plan in terms of uh, Patreon exclusive content that you can expect in 2024. And, you know, as well as the continued exclusives of games and early access to videos. Now, in terms of channel content, I do plan to do some variations on the game dev video idea. They will all still be strictly game dev videos as they are now. I just want to approach them differently. And the one I'm really excited to try is creating a randomizer that gives me like a topic, a style, maybe an art style. I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. I might turn to you guys for some ideas. We'll see. But I want to go with like some random prompts and try to make a game based on random prompts. That is something that I think would be interesting. I don't know if it'll work out. I don't know if it'll be any good. But you know, this it's things that we're going to try. We're going to we're going to have fun with it as always. You know, another thing that seems to be pretty popular is when I do games based on other games. Who knew? So I don't know if the momentum that I've seen in December can continue onwards into 2024. I feel like maybe I'll have a better chance of getting in contact with developers and seeing if we can work something out like new games that are coming out. Uh, if there's an interesting uh, mechanic in one of those games, maybe I can get a press copy, experience that beforehand. And when the game comes out, you know, I'll be able to put out a video that tries to remake that that me mechanic or try, you know, now that's honestly going to be a very very hard sell because I used to contact developers back when I was with Tengu Drop, but that was in a capacity for, you know, making gameplay videos. <laughs> I feel like if I contact developers and I'm like, hey, I like this mechanic. Could I have access to your game early so I can, I don't know, d devalue your cool mechanic? I don't know. I don't know if they'll see it that way or if they'll see it as, oh, hey, you know, it it's really tough making these mechanics. So maybe you should go to the pros, the, the people who are actually getting paid to do this. I don't know. Again, that's just me thinking out loud. That's something I would love. I would love to try and do more i just i just want to do more in 2024 is, is really the goal i think okay so those are what you can expect in 2024 but unfortunately that is uh, that is only half of it because we do have to get real for a bit here so let's let's talk about it so as i mentioned 2024 is going to be it's very up in the air as 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 optimistic as I am, it's also going to be a very scary year. I say that, it's a, that sounds a little worse than it really is, but the reality of the situation is, is kind of a serious one. So, so basically, the computer that I am currently recording this on and make all of my videos on is like 10 years old at this point. And for the last few years especially, have been one replacement after the other and I've, I've talked about this before i've talked about you know not knowing if i would be able to continue making videos because i wouldn't be sure if my computer would be working and again that's why i started the patreon it was to make sure that i could continue making videos especially if something broke down and i won't lie patreon has not been doing well 
And so over the last couple of years, I have been having to replace parts in this computer out of my pocket. And I'm sure you all are well aware that computer parts are not cheap. Thankfully, so far, the, uh, most of the things that break down are like fans or, or cables. So those have been relatively cheap to replace. But we are getting to the point where the, the more expensive things are going to start breaking down. And quite frankly, it's already been happening. Like I've had to completely replace my audio system because it broke down and my backup was not Windows 10 uh, compatible. So I had to completely, pretty much completely replace the entire thing. And that was expensive. At least for me, that was it was it was a huge chunk. It pretty much knocked out the the money I had set aside for replacement parts had to go into the audio setup. So if you haven't even noticed a difference in the microphone quality over the year, then I guess I did my job as an editor. So yay. <laughs> And yeah, I know I've said it before in the past, but now it's a little different because now if something breaks down, I do not have a financial net to replace the parts. So if something breaks in this computer, I would just not be able to make any videos until I get it fixed. And unfortunately, money is very tight. So uh, finding replacement parts when they're like in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars, it's, it's going to be rough. So fingers crossed that Lady Luck shines upon us and we do not run into any major issues and I will be able to do what I want this year and not have any issues. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Maybe this is better waited until next year, but with Microsoft dropping Windows 10 support in 2025, and I, I again pretty much everything in this current pc other than the fans and the cables are like over almost 10 years old i'm pretty sure none of it qualifies for a windows 11 upgrade so uh yeah again that's something that we'll we'll deal with when it comes if we get that far but uh, yeah mm, i know some people were able to bypass those requirements but mm, I am pretty stressed about the future. It basically, it means I have from now until probably around the end of 2025, I think is when the Windows 10 support goes down to uh, afford better parts. So I am on a kind of a ticking clock, but as long as this PC continues to run, as long as you guys enjoy the content, I will keep making it until I no longer can. Because I don't say any of this to garner any sympathy or anything, but I, I feel like I owe you guys uh, transparent explanations for things so that's what this is this is me being real with you guys and if i just completely disappear one day you probably know why <laughs> so yeah not the best way to end the video i apologize but i felt you guys deserve to know what's going on what to expect and despite it all i'm going to do my best to make sure to have a new video for you guys every single monday i am determined to do my best with what time I have left to try and get m as much out of this channel as possible, especially if it is coming to an end. I'm not going to stress on it, neither should you. But regardless, I hope your 2023 was fantastic. I hope you guys have a wonderful 2024 and I hope you guys will spend it with me here on my continued journey to learn how to make video games. And as always, I am very thankful for your support. You just watching these videos is enough. And yeah, here's to a, a fantastic 2024 and hopefully 2025 and beyond. <laughs> anyway, I've been rambling for quite a while, so thank you so much for watching. I forgot to mention uh, Dev Diary is getting a visual overhaul, starting with the uh, the first video of January. So, so, so get excited for that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.